Hello there! This tutorial will show you the settings you need to configure before you start managing your subscribers and campaigns using Vmail. So from the dashboard of your Vmail, go to Settings. Under General, enable the Registration option if you want to collect subscribers' information from users who register on your site. Set a message you want to display to your subscribers under the Label text. Then select a list where you want your subscribers' information to be listed. You can also create a new list. Just scroll to the bottom to create a new list. Enable the WooCommerce option if you want to collect subscribers' information from users who are registering on your WooCommerce site. Just like before, set a message you want to display to your subscribers under the label text. Then select a list where you want to save a subscriber's registration information or create a new list to list your subscriber's registration information. If you enable the comment opt-in, then you collect the registration information from users who comment on your site. For such users, set the text to display the desired message to users who are making comments on your site. Then select a list where you want to save a subscriber's registration information or create a new list. If you want a list of how many users have subscribed, then enable the notification option. This will send you notification on the total number of subscription in the last 24 hours. Set the email address to receive this very particular information. You can add multiple email addresses by separating the email address with a comma. Enable the transactional emails if you want to receive transactional information from your WooCommerce site. Then click on Save to save your settings. The next step is to set your company's information such as name, address, contact information, and website address. When you're done, click on Save to save the settings. Set your social media information under Social Networks. You do not have to set all of them. Simply set the ones you use and click on Save to set the links. Under Email Sending, set any one of the email gateway and set the name and email address under the From section. Be sure to do the same for the Reply To section. The Reply To section receives email responses when a user replies to an email. We have a separate video on setting your email gateway, so please check the link in the description box below. The double opt-in option keeps your subscribers list clean. It ensures that people don't subscribe to your list unwillingly. You can enable double opt-in for each post individually. To enable double opt-in, go to Lists, then click on View Subscribers for a list and click on Settings under Options. Here, enable the double opt-in option. If you want to receive quick alerts when subscribers join or leave from a list, enable the one by one option. Enter the email address if you want to receive alerts on users who have subscribed or unsubscribed from your email updates. You can also add multiple email address. The one by one option is not recommended if you have a very large list. If you want to receive a summary of the subscribe and unsubscribe activity, enable the summary option. Then set your preferred email address to receive the updates. Lastly, click on Save. Back to the double opt-in settings, set your email subject, email heading, email body, and confirmation message when a user clicks on the subscription to confirm the link. You can also set the redirection option by setting the URL link or redirecting to a particular page. Lastly, click on Save to save the settings. If you want to import your subscribers list from your WordPress site, 
the WordPress user sync will help you out. Just enable auto imports and select different user roles. Then click on save settings and you are good to go. If you install the WordPress ERP plugin along with Wemail, you will get a new option called the ERP CRM contacts. This means you can now import all your contacts available in the WordPress ERP as your email subscribers. When you import contacts with the CRM contact, Wemail will create lists from your CRM groups. It will then import contacts from those lists. If you turn this option off, the default list settings will be used down below. The default list imports all of your ungrouped list into this very list. Lastly, click on save to save the settings. And that is how you set up the basic settings for your Wemail dashboard. To find out how to set your email gateway, please check the link in the description box below. That's it for now. Stay tuned!